China's military-industrial complex is rapidly advancing, and the Type 15 or ZTQ-15 Black Panther tank symbolizes this evolution. Weighing between 33 and 36 tons, the Type 15 is designed for maneuverability in challenging terrains like Tibet and Taiwan, where heavier tanks like the Type 99 have struggled. Despite its lighter weight, the Black Panther is armed with a 105mm rifled gun capable of firing laser-guided anti-tank missiles, enhancing its range and lethality. Its 1000 horsepower engine gives it a power-to-weight ratio that rivals Western tanks like the M1A2 Abrams. The Type 15 also serves as a testbed for future Chinese military innovations, showcasing China's growing technical capabilities. As China aims to compete with global military equipment exporters, the Type 15 is set to play a crucial role in both mountain warfare and amphibious operations. Ignoring China's advancements could prove dangerous for the West. China's military-industrial complex is rapidly evolving. No longer content to build cheap knockoffs of old Soviet systems and rip off American designs, China is coming into its own as a techno-military superpower. Everything from quantum computing to artificial intelligence to hypersonic weapons systems are being competitively developed in a country that has risen to become the second largest economy in GDP terms. Even in areas that were once almost dominated by the Americans and the Russians, such as main battle tanks, the Chinese are catching up. The Type 15 or ZTQ-15 Black Panther represents just the kind of evolution that China has embodied since it opened itself up to the West in the 1970s. The Black Panther was meant to address significant shortfalls in the Chinese Type 99 main battle tank. Weighing between 33 and 36 tons, the Type 15 is much lighter than many of the main battle tanks that populate the modern battlefield. This is meant to help navigate the notoriously difficult terrain China's Type 99 struggled with. Mountainous, hilly, or plateau regions are accessible to this lighter main battle tank. Even though China is rapidly becoming a naval power, it must still remain a potent force on land. After all, the bulk of China's territory faces the inside of the Eurasian landmass. The Chinese Communist Party strives to enforce strict socio-political and economic control over outlying Chinese regions historically populated by foreign groups. China's military needs reliable main battle tanks that can navigate the rugged, mountainous terrain of places like Tibet and Taiwan. The Black Panther sports a 105mm rifled gun, which is smaller than most main battle tanks of today with their 125mm guns. This rifled gun can launch multiple forms of ammunition, including potent laser-guided anti-tank missiles. Thus, the range and lethality is considerably increased when the Type 15 squares off against other main battle tanks. As the Ukraine war has shown, both American and Russian tanks struggle to defend against most modern anti-tank missiles. In various exercises involving the Type 15, this tank reportedly engages targets with a higher than normal accuracy rating in very difficult environments. The tank possesses a 1000 horsepower engine that provides a horsepower to weight ratio rivaling and possibly even exceeding most other Western main battle tank, such as the vaunted American made M1A2 Abrams. The M1 Abrams is a third-generation American main battle tank designed by Chrysler Defense now General Dynamics Land Systems and named for General Creighton Abrams. Conceived for modern armored ground warfare, it is one of the heaviest tanks in service at nearly 73.6 short tons 66.8 metric tons. It introduced several modern technologies to United States armored forces including a multi-fuel turbine engine, sophisticated Chobham composite armor, a computer fire control system, separate ammunition storage in a blowout compartment, and NBC protection for crew safety. The M1 Abrams was developed from the failed joint American West-German main battle tank 70 project that intended to replace the obsolete M60 tank. There are three main operational Abrams versions. The M1, M1A1 and M1A2, with each new iteration seeing improvements in armament, protection, and electronics. The Abrams was to be replaced in U.S. Army service by the XM-1202 mounted combat system. But because that project was cancelled, the Army has opted to continue maintaining and operating the M1 series for the foreseeable future by upgrading optics, armor, and firepower. The M1 Abrams entered service in 1980. 
and serves as the main battle tank of the United States Army and formerly of the United States Marine Corps USMC until the decommissioning of all USMC tank battalions in 2021. The export modification is used by the armed forces of Egypt, Kuwait, Saudi Arabia, Australia, Poland and Iraq. The Abrams was first used in combat by the US in the Gulf War. It was later deployed by the US in the war in Afghanistan and the Iraq War. As well as by Iraq in the war against the Islamic State, Saudi Arabia in the Yemeni Civil War, and Ukraine in the Russian invasion of Ukraine. On the other hand, the Type 15 is perfectly suited for amphibious landings against neighboring Taiwan. Its 1,000 horsepower engine gives it a power-to-weight ratio that rivals Western tanks like the M1A2 Abrams. Because of its lightness and mobility, this armored beast can be used in rapid deployment scenarios across rivers or in coastal regions. This land battleship can cruise at more than 43 miles per hour and possesses considerable operational range. Meaning that it can be a real game changer in tight tactical situations, especially considering the kinds of rough environments this tank was built to fight in. In terms of mountain warfare, this tank comes with lighter weight and advanced suspension. Designers made this tank able to produce oxygen for its crew when operating at high altitudes, such as when squaring off against the Indian military along the shared, mountainous border near Tibet. This is undoubtedly a key feature of the tank, as tensions with neighboring India ramp up once more. What's more, China strives to ultimately compete with military equipment export rivals like America and Russia. The Type 15 might help them do just that. Lastly, to show their increasing sophistication. China has made the Type 15 capable of serving as a testbed for new technologies and subsystems that will ensure the tank remains competitive for years to come. It will influence all future tank design for China. Don't underestimate China's growing technical challenge to the West. Instead, understand it. Respect it, even. And work to support policies and leaders who will ensure the United States remains ahead of the Chinese. But don't write China off just because 50 years ago, they were a giant North Korea. They are a true near-peer rival to the United States in ways that the old Soviet Union never was.